When I first met Billy Cooper, we were in, uh, at Pipkin Junior High School. Our eighth grade year, we had a great year, so we became very tight and close friends uh, for, for that year because uh, we didn't lose a single football game, a basketball game, or track. And Billy played football and track those years. He was strong and he was determined. He, you would see Billy coming down the home stretch, uh, pushing himself as hard as he could. And it was a real inspira I mean, really inspirational to see him finish those races the way he did. I don't remember now how we first met, but I know that he is one of the persons that got me started in the coaching at the Boys and Girls Club of Springfield. He started coaching kids, then his son Josh came along, and he, of course he coached him. He coached several other kids in and around the community. We need leaders in the community, regardless of who's who and what's what, to step up to the plate and do something like it. It's just it's because there is a future and tomorrow, and tomorrow is our youth. I knew Billy kind of a little bit in high school, but probably uh, became more friends with him later on after school. From my understanding, his work, social work, was particularly with uh, young people uh, that maybe didn't have all the advantages of life, and he was there to uh, try to motivate them, encourage them to have a positive influence upon a kid. Uh, that's a, <clears throat> such a great thing. It's without a doubt that Billy's perseverance and determination and trying to do what's right are his strongest attributes. He's had to overcome many things, social issues, uh, health issues, and he's overcome all of those and become somebody who uh, I, I and so many of my classmates admire. Uh, whenever I you know, talk with Dora, she's always so supportive of, of Billy and uh, it's just the same thing when I talk with Billy about her. So, I mean, you know, their relationship uh, has been one of mutual love for each other. They face challenges in life, uh, many different kinds, and they've always um, just said, hey, we'll work through this. We're going to stay positive. I tell myself that's what I need to do too, stay positive no matter what happens. He's, uh, he's very grounded and very principled. He, he tries to do things that are right for people. We talked before and he said, uh, you know, he wants to be able to say yes to people because people have said up to a certain point in his life said no. And he wanted to be able to influence others' lives by giving them a chance. When people came out and asked him to, uh, to volunteer, he stepped up, whether it's in youth sports, whether it's with Boys and Girls Club, as far as being on their board, and uh, he hasn't said no. Well, this is, could not happen to a nicer fellow, him going into the SPS Hall of Fame. And all I want to say is, Billy, good luck to you. I'm glad I'm your friend. Uh, uh, may you live long, long lives after, after this, and God bless you. Billy Cooper again, congratulations for your induction into the SPS Hall of Fame. I couldn't be happier to congratulate Billy Cooper on entering the Springfield Public Schools Hall of Fame. Billy, I've known you for over 60 years, it seems like, and uh, you've just been a real inspiration for me and uh, inspiration to so many others on the impact you've made on others' lives. The obstacles you've overcome, the persistence you've shown, it's just a, a uh, just amazing. So, from, I think I can speak for the class of 1968 Central High School Bulldogs. Congratulations, and it's a well-earned and deserved honor.